Hi guys, Sonia the OT here. Um, today I want to talk to you about creating a safe space in the home. In schools, a lot of times what they're doing is forming either like a corner or a certain section of the room that's just designated to this is a calming corner where we can self-regulate, maybe take a little break if we're starting to feel really overwhelmed or anxious. Um, and so as schooling is now taking place in the homes, I just want families to really implement and carry that over just so that kids have a place to go where they can feel safe become more regulated so that they can get back to something that, you know, was maybe typically done at school and now there's a change in routines. Um, so just a couple suggestions for the safe space. Um, the first thing I would say is make sure that you have either comfortable furniture or comfortable things in that space. So that could be either like a really soft blanket or pillows or maybe a beanbag chair, um, just something that can give them kind of that comfy, cozy little nook or corner. Um, I've seen too where people do like little coloring books with some crayons, just some little doodle time to kind of calm and regulate. I've seen um, maybe having the zones of regulation in there just so that the kids can become a little more self-aware of where their body is and how they're feeling so that maybe they can learn how to combat those emotions a little bit more. Um, I've seen it where families have pictures of them or different loved ones in this space just because that brings us joy knowing that we have people that we care about with us um, or maybe our pets, cat or dog or hamster, who knows, um, whatever it is that brings that kid joy. And then a couple other suggestions would be maybe some different fidgets just to keep our hands busy and calm so that we're not being disruptive or having a hard time just knowing what to do with our body in this space. Um, I think it's important to keep in mind that the safe space may not be a designated location always. Um, I've had some families say that their kiddo doesn't like to be you know, sent to this safe space as they're feeling it to be more of like a timeout and now that's causing more anxiety. And so that safe space might change locations, maybe weekly, maybe monthly. It just kind of depends on where that child feels safest and calmest um, and it might need to be changed throughout, you know, the time that you guys are at home. And so another um, recommendation is don't try to use it as a punishment. It's more of a we need to calm down. Our body's not regulated. Let's just take a little break. Let's go hang out in the, you know, safe spot or the calming spot, calming corner, whatever you want to call it, um, just so that kids feel like they have a place to go when they're starting to get a little bit ramped up. I hope this helps. And any further questions, feel free to look at our Treffert website, and there'll be more tips and tricks coming out. Thanks.